Before this video starts, I wanted to inform every single last viewer of this video that I have started a GoFundMe for the Inoue Fulton fight. I'm trying to go to Japan and, and raise some money and get you guys great content out there in Japan. And I'm gonna try to be out there for at least a month and I'm gonna need you guys' help to get you guys that great content and, and make this thing happen. So uh, if you're interested in helping me with that, the GoFundMe link will be down below in the, in the description and in the pinned comments. So uh, help me out and help me help you help True School Sports get to the land of the rising sun for Inoue Fulton. It is the road to Japan. So uh, yeah, help me out with that and uh, enjoy the video. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Here what's going on. It's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, the latest and greatest in our updates towards uh, Anoy and Fulton, you know, big fight going to be happening in Japan in the middle of the year in the summer. You know, make sure you guys donate to that Inoue Fulton. Go fund me. Link will be down below. The road to Japan is underway. But as we as we're on our road to Japan, let's talk about it because there was an article that came out on what's quickly becoming one of the most visited websites on my computer, which is <laughs> uh, Yahoo Japan. So shout out to the fine folks at Yahoo Japan. They they wrote an article that I thought was pretty interesting. Now, uh, former uh, light flyweight champion, former WBA light flyweight champion, you know, um, from Japan. Uh, and I may be butchering his name, so please, to my Japanese audience, because I know some of you guys get on me for butchering these names, please forgive me. I'm, I'm trying to learn the correct pronunciations. It's no disrespect on my end. But uh, he, uh, K uh, Katsuo Tokashiki, all right? Katsuo Tokashiki. He was speaking to Yahoo Japan about Inoue and the potential matchup with Stephen Fulton. And he said something quite interesting that I thought was worth sharing with you guys. The article will be in the description if you want to read it for yourself so you can come to your own conclusion and your own surmise. But uh, Kautsu said the following that about Fulton, that pretty much Fulton kind of has some commonalities. He has some similarities in his boxing style to that of a Floyd Money Mayweather. So I thought that was very interesting and I thought that was very intriguing what he said. So let's let's try to decode what what what, what the article says because it you know these Japanese articles when translated to English, you know, it's a bit different, you know, so I gotta kinda, you know, be be mindful of how I how I read this. But you guys read it for yourself. But uh he said the following about Fulton and I quote Although the knockout rate is low, he has good skills, speed, number of moves, and guesswork. I think he means like footwork or anticipation, but he said it says guesswork. He is cautious, saying that it's scary to be scared. He's pretty talented. I don't think Anoy will lose, but he says uh, in Fulton's video, I guess he had said that uh, I train with speed rather than the physical training. The training method is similar to Floyd Mayweather's. So. There you go. He sees similarities in Fulton so far as like his his emphasis on speed and the technique of the punches. And if, any, if anybody knows anything about boxing, and, and, and this is why to the Inoue fans, right, to the to the to the people that aren't giving Fulton much of a chance, this is why I say you have to give Fulton a chance because there's two there's two factors that are that are going to be happening going into this fight that I think a lot of the uh, Inoue fanboys overlook, which is the fact that number one. Um, we don't know how great the monster is going to look in his first fight at 122. He hasn't had a fight to get acclimated and adjusted to this weight. So, you know, that remains to be seen how his body is going to fill out and how he'll feel. Right? We can assume he's going to feel stronger and he'll feel better. But you just don't know until the lights come on. You don't know until the fights actually happen how a fighter will look when they move up or down in weight. Now, as far as uh, his technique and as far as his speed and training... You know, anybody who knows anything about boxing knows that speed is power. And with the monster being a smaller guy moving up first fight, hasn't, haven't, hasn't really been adjust, uh, adjusted to the weight. You know, I would fully anticipate Fulton is going to try um, in pockets of that fight to fight like the bigger man. We've seen him fight like the bigger man before. Uh, go back to some of his fights against, you know, Brandon Figueroa. And even against my boy Angelo Leo. He didn't fight a fight where he was, as many of the haters would say, running around the ring on his bicycle no Stephen Fulton fought right in the pocket right in the trenches and he's done it with bigger men so if he's done it with bigger men why wouldn't he try to do it with the smaller man coming up and wait you know um speed is power in boxing so if, if if he's hitting a smaller guy with fast sharp hard shots you just don't know how Inoue is going to react to that until the time comes so um is he like Floyd Mayweather um 
I, I don't, I, I mean, I, I, I can see what he's saying. I, I can see like the emphasis on technique and speed over power in training. I, I can see where he's coming from, but I would respectfully degree, uh, d uh, disagree with the former champion. I, I, I don't, I don't see that. I, I think Stephen Fulton, um, his defensive mechanics and his defensive system is not as uh, perplex or complicated, not perplex, but uh, as advanced or as complicated as Floyd. You know, when you talk about Floyd, he, Floyd mastered a defensive system in boxing, which is very hard to master, which takes years and years uh, to really master and, and perfectly execute in the ring. And that's uh, the style of boxing that's originated here in the States, known as the, the Philly Shell, the Philly Shell defense, you know, and, and a lot of fighters have tried the Philly Shell. Um, and it's the, kind of, it's, the, it's the kind of style that to where if you master it, you're you are you are you are gonna be very hard to beat. But if you don't know what you're doing, you can get really beat up and hurt severely. Like think about guys like Adrian Broner, how they tried their Philly shell defense, but it was more of like a <laughs> it was more of like a, a Kentucky shell defense, you know, a Kentucky fried chicken shell <laughs> defense. And it got them hurt against guys like Mar Marcos Maidana. So um I, defensively I, I I don't see the similarities, but um I, as far as maybe like offensive approach and offensive philosophies um, that's probably where I would say it begins and ends. I don't, I don't think they're the same fighter, but, um, yeah, I respect, I respect the man's opinion. He, he, he's been in the ring. He's done, done it on a, at a higher level than I've been dreaming of doing it. So much respect to the, the former champion, um, for giving his opinion. And I'm looking forward to this fight. Um, and yeah, you know, let, let, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys see any similarities in Stephen Fulton's offensive approach, um, you know, to Floyd Mayweather, and maybe maybe not the older Floyd Mayweather that, that was more defensive, but more so the younger one that was more offensive and pretty boy Floyd Mayweather, you know, when he was fighting the guys like Diego Corrales and, and those kind of guys. Uh, you know, so let me know in the comments down below. Let me know in the comments down below. You know, the road to Japan is underway. It's the Inouye Fulton, you know, hype machine extravaganza here on True School Sports. Uh, make sure you guys donate to the GoFundMe and support that because that, that really does, anything will go a long way. Every dollar will go a long way towards getting me to the land of the rising sun. And for, for me, for me to give you guys some of the best and most unique content on the internet, really, and on YouTube box community. So uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here. And make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.